Odisha, the state nicknamed the soul of India, is home to many of the world's most exotic and rare species of flora and fauna. The districts in the center are covered with thick tropical deciduous forests covered by hills and plateaus from all directions. About 479 species of birds, 86 species of mammals, 19 species of amphibians and 110 species of reptiles are present in Odisha. Greetings, I am Ujwal Upadhyay and we, the boys of class 9b, today present the flora and fauna of Odisha. Good morning everyone. I, Arav Chabra of class 9th B, present you my video on the topic Morinda Tinctoria, the most famous flora of our own state, Odisha. So let's first start with the scientific classification. Kingdom is Plantae, Clade Tracheophytes, the Clade Angiosperm, Clade Eudicots, Clade Asteroids, and the order is Gentianales, family Rubicae, genus Morinda, and species M. Tinctoria. So, the basic points about the Morinda citrifolia is known as the common name for Morinda citrifolia and is called as Indian mulberry, Bajishian, Nono or Nonu, cheese fruit, and Nahau in various cultures. Ashoka is one of the most ancient trees of India. This plant has beautiful flowers. It bears strong prominence in Hindu mythology and the flower of Ashoka tree is the state flower of Odisha. Ashoka in Sanskrit means without sorrow. It is also believed to be the symbol of fertility. Ashoka trees find prominence in Hinduism and its scriptures. It is worshipped in the month of Chaitra. The Sambar deer is the state animal of Odisha. These deer are dark or light brown and have a slightly yellowish or greyish tint. Sambar deer are known for their coat and antlers that are rugged. They also have a unique sound that adds to their appeal. They also have a long tail for deer which is white underneath and black on the top. They have strong and long legs which are a dark brown above. Three hundred sixty-four kilometers away from the state's capital, Bhubaneswar, there is Sundarpur, a district that bears the word beauty in its name. Hides even more beautiful place in its lap, Tensa. Tensa Nature Camp, a perfect place to relish the elegance of a hill station. From astonishing hotels to the top notch luxury, this place has everything. But the most spectacular thing about this place is its nature. The nature camp, situated on Bonai Forest Division, Sundargarh, it provides spectacular views of the Bonai Forest landscape and the adjoining mountains. But the sad part about all this is. The crown jewel of Odisha is under danger. Because of the industrialization happening in the nearby areas, the level of pollution in the air of Tensa and the nearby areas are significantly high. And to tackle that, more and more trees need to be planted and the amount of trees that are being cut down should be decreased to a very low level. As the citizens of our nation, it's our duty to preserve the hospitality that the local community is given to us in the form of preserving their forest, which is their livelihood. Asia is one of the largest producers of rice in India. The other crops cultivated are jute, oil, seeds, pulses, coconut, mesta, sugarcane, tea, rubber, cotton, gram, mustard, maize, sesame, ragi, potato, and soya bean. Kutak, Denknal, Baleshwar, and Sambalpur are other major uh, agricultural hubs of the state. Indian Cobra Naya Naya, also known as the Spectacled Cobra, Asian Cobra, or Binocelle Cobra, 
is aspecies of cobrafon dundadundund in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Bhutan, and a member of the big four species that are responsible for the most snake abida cases in India. The Indian cobra spectacled cobra, being common in South Asia, is referred to by a number of local names deriving from the root Afnaga, Forindo Aryan Dravivijan, Fetigam in Assamese, Gakra in Bengali, Nag in Hindi, Fedar in Awad. Ushagoti Wildlife Sanctuary, another hidden treasure of Odisha. The Hirakot Dam lies on the western part of the sanctuary and is another place that should be made beeline for the sanctuary. is located roughly 40 km from Sambalpur, uh, Sambalpur spread over an area of more than 300 square km. This earmark as sanctuary in 1962, the dense, the serious forest of the area, compromised trees like Neem, uh, Asia, Shaheen Falcon. Scientific name Falco peregrinus peregrinator. Some pictures of it. Scientific classification Kingdom Animalia. Phylum Chordata. Class Abs. Order Falconiforms. Family Falconidae. Genus Falco. Introduction The Shaheen Falcon, Falco peregrinus peregrinator, is a non migratory subspecies of the peregrine falcon found mainly in the Indian subcontinent. It has also been described as a migratory subspecies. Other common names for the subspecies include the Black Shaheen and Indian Peregrine Falcon. The word Shaheen in these names may also be spelled as Shaheen. This species was termed as the Black Shaheen by falconers to separate it from the true Shaheen of Persian literature. Scholars of Persian and the Russian ornithologist Georgi Petrovich Dementiev have noted that the name Shaheen in Persian literature actually referred to Falco Peregrinus Babylonicus. Shaheen and other variations come from Middle Persian Avit Macronechen, literally majestic, kingly, and the given name Avit Macronechen, compare Middle Armenian, Ahan, and Old Armenian, Ahan. It has two meanings in Persian Farsi, Falcon, especially the Barbary Falcon. The second meaning is a pointer of a scale. Description The Shaheen is a small and powerful looking falcon with blackish upper parts, rufous underparts with fine, dark streaks, and white on the throat. The complete black face mask is sharply demarcated from the white throat. It has distinctive rufous underwing coverts. It differs in all these features from the paler F. P. Calidus, which is a scarce winter migrant to Sri Lanka. Males and females have similar markings and plumage, apart from size there is no sexual dimorphism. The birds range in length from 380 to 440 mm. The male is about the size of a house crow, Corvus splendens, the female is larger. Baisipali Wildlife Sanctuary Agenda Introduction about the Sanctuary Animals and Satkosha Tiger Reserve Introduction Baisipali Wildlife Sanctuary was created on 6 May 1981 and is located in Nayagad, Odisha, India, adjacent to the Satkosha Gorge Wildlife Sanctuary. It is 168.35 square kilometer of sanctuary land. Baisipali is located in the Eastern Highlands Moist Deciduous Forest ecoregion. The two major plant communities are mixed deciduous forest including Sal and Riverine Forest. In 2007, the Satkosha Tiger Reserve was designated which comprises Baisipali and the adjacent Satkosha Gorge Wildlife Sanctuary. Due to its flora and fauna, a beautiful landscape this sanctuary is the ideal tourist destination. About the sanctuary Myriads of tourists, nature lovers and wildlife enthusiasts are attracted by the scenic beauty of the vibrant vistas of the Baisipali Wildlife Sanctuary. The sanctuary is where right rest in the tiger, elephant, mouse deer, the state animal sambar as well as plethora of other wild species that inhabit the sanctuary. The sanctuary is also the home of variegated species of domestic as well as migratory birds whose dull shrimp and the colored plums augment the charm of the surroundings. The sanctuary is dots with silvan water bodies and Glim prettily like a mirage of quicksilver, the hoary mist at dawn, the panoramic sunrise and the sunset, and the river water changing shade from a gold amber heat haze in the afternoon to a smearing aquamarine at dusk, indeed a sight to behold. Tiger Reserve Satkosha Tiger Reserve is the tiger reserve located in the border of Angol and Niagara district of Odisha, India, covering an area of 988. 
1.3 kilometer square. Satkosha Gorge Wildlife Sanctuary was created in 1976 with an area of 796 kilometer square. Satkosha Tiger Reserve was designated in 2007 and comprises the Satkosha Gorge Wildlife Sanctuary and the adjacent Basipali Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located where the Mahanadi passes through a 22 km long gorge in the Eastern Ghats mountains. The Tiger Reserve is located in the Eastern Highland Moist Deciduous Forest ecoregion. Good morning. I Prithvijit Biswas of class 9B is going to tell you about a tortoise named Olive Ridley living near the coasts of Odisha, whose scientific name is Lepidochilis olivacea. So the general information about only ready the only ready sea turtle also known commonly as the pacific ridley sea turtle is a species of turtle in the family chelonidae the second smallest and most abundant of all sea turtles found in the world l olivacea is found in warm and tropical waters primarily in the pacific and indian oceans but also in the warm waters of the atlantic ocean So the classification of Olive Ridley is as follows Kingdom is Animalia phylum is Chordata class is Reptilia order is Testudines suborder is Crypt Cryptodira superfamily is Chelonia idea family is Chelonidae genus is Lepidochilus species is L olivacea So, so the distribution of all olive ridley are as follows olive ridleys are globally distributed in the tropical regions of the atlantic pacific and indian ocean in the atlantic ocean they are found along the coast of west africa and south america in the eastern pacific they occur from southern california to northern chile the appearance and dimensions of olive ridley as follows growing to about 61 cm in carapace and length the olive ridley sea turtle gets its common name from its olive colored carapace which is heart shaped and rounded males and females grow to the same time same size but females have a slightly more rounded compared carapace as compared to males The heart-shaped carapace is characterized by four pairs of pore bearing in inframarginal scutes on the bridge. Two pairs of prefrontals and up to nine lateral scutes per side. L. olivacea is unique in that it can have a variable and asymmetrical lateral scute counts. ranging from 5 to 9 plates on each side with 6 to 8 being most commonly observed each side of the carapace has 12 to 14 marginal scutes the olive ridley sea turtle rarely weighs over 50 kg adults study in oaxaca mexico ranged from 25 to 46 kg Adult females weigh an average of 35.45 kg, while adult males weigh significantly less, averaging 33 kg. Hatchlings only weigh between 12 and 23.3 grams. Good morning, everyone. I, Gaurav Kadam of Class 9B, presenting a video on topic Spondylus pinnata, a most famous flora of Odisha. Now see about what is Spondylus spinita. Spondylus spinita, sometimes also known as horse plum, is a species of tree with eatable horse foods. It is native to the Indonesia but has been widely naturalized in South Asia, mainland Southeast Asia, southern China, and the Solomon Islands. This species, among several others, has sometimes called the wild mango in other languages, and was placed in the genus Mangifera it is found in lowlands and hills forest up to 12000 meter or 3900 feet pondius mangifera is best known for its fruits in indo-malaysia region 
The fruit contains about 25% of juicy and edible blurb. The blurb is used as a common ingredient in culinary preparation like condiments, curries, charms, sherbet, beverages in the countries where the plant grows naturally. Green fruits from the plant are pickled in brine, which is the rich source of phenolic compounds, acids, minerals, sugars, vitamins, and peptides. The reap fruit in use of acid and micro and micronutrients which combine well with sugars and used for the preparation of a variety of traditional highly energetic and refreshing drinks. Now see about scientific classification. Kingdom Plantae clade Tracheophytes clade Angiosperms clade Eudicots clade Rosides order Spandrels family Anacardiaceae genus Pondius species Espinata. Let's see nutritional constituents of Spondius mangifera. Components fruit bark polyphenol 634.53 mg percentage bark 91.47 mg percentage flavonoids fruit 710.23 mg percentage bark 350.5 mg percentage total acid fruit 944.34 gram percentage bark 154.75 gram percentage total protein fruit 17.32 gram percentage bark 3.21 gram percentage total crude fat fruit 12.23 gram percentage bark 5.14 gram percentage fibers fruit 42.53 gram percentage bark 33.9 gram percentage carbohydrate fruit 23.54 gram percentage bark 16.3 gram percentage aluminium fruit 87 milligram percentage bark 58 milligram percentage iodine fruit 24 milligram percentage bark 9 milligram percentage iron 150 gram milligram percentage bark 128 milligram percentage phosphorus fruit 66 milligram percentage bark 32 milligram percentage sodium fruit 96 milligram percentage calcium fruit 115 milligram percentage bark 72 milligram percentage niacin fruit 0.16 milligram percentage riboflavin fruit 0.09 milligram percentage tiamine fruit 1.8 milligram percentage bark 0.8 milligram percentage energy fruit 189 kilocalorie upon gram as fruit 11.70 gram percentage bark 7.87 gram percentage copper fruit 123 milligram percentage somber deer the state animal of odisha the somber deer is the largest deer of india they are native to the indian subcontinent and the southeast asia They are large measuring height of 102 to 160 cm at the shoulder. They weigh on an average between 100 to 350 kg. As with most deer, only males have antlers. The antlers are typically up to 110 cm long in fully grown adults. The males live alone for much of the year except during breeding. The samba prefers the dense cover of delicious shrubs and the grasses. They are found in altitudes 
of up to 3500 meter the females live in a small herds of up to 16 individuals the males join the herd during the time of breeding alone in the undisturbed areas samba herds can be found They often congregate near water and are good swimmers. They commonly communicate by scent marking and food stamping. They are the favorite prey of tigers and Asiatic lions. Nearly 60% of the prey of the tiger can be a samba. They usually give birth to one calf, but twins also occur. Gestation probably lasts around eight months. Adults rarely survive more than 12 years in the wild. They are classified as vulnerable because of habitat loss. Poaching also takes a heavy toll on their population. Greetings, myself Amir Nilesh Khandat. Today we are going to talk about one of the most famous sanctuaries from Odisha, the Bitar Karnika Wildlife Sanctuary. Bitar Karnika, the word itself when we divide it in two, Bitar means inner and Karnika means beauty. So Bitar Karnika literally translates to the inner beauty the forest has. It is the second largest mangrove forest in India. With around 200 plus species of birds, we have around 6 plus kingfishers here in Bitar Karnika. And if you just take a boat ride 3 hour long, you can see all of them. It's that common over here. The forest has the largest crocodile in its flora and fauna. The average size of these crocodiles is 20 to 23 feet long. The lifespan of these crocodiles ranges from 8 to 100 years. And I don't think anywhere in India you can to see such long and majestic huge crocodiles around. We have the huge king cobras over here ranging from 18 to 20 feet long and you can spot them when you travel between the creeks of the forest and explore you get to see them moving around. You may also see other animals like snakes, monitor lizard, wild bear and spotted deer while you explore. You can also explore by taking a boat ride in the beautiful Bhitar Karnika river. In the middle of greenery and a lot of rich flora and fauna, the entire forest is covered only with mangrove. <coughs> Mangroves are basically trees that are grown inside brackish water which is a mixture of sweet and salt water and there are over 92 species of mangrove inside the forest making it the second largest in India. Flora and fauna refer to plant and wildlife respectively. The term is often used to refer to the indigenous plant and wildlife of a geographical region. Both are collectively terms referring to groups of plants or wildlife specific to a region or a time period. For example, the flora and fauna of a warm region may consist a tropical to warm temperate. Vegetarian and exotic species of birds by definition flora is a word is Latin origin referring to flora, the goddess of flowers. The term can refer to a group of plants or to bacterial flora is the root of the word floral which means pertaining to flowers fauna and can refer to the animal life or classifications of animal of a certain religious time period or environment. The term is also Latin origin and in Roman mythology fauna was the sister of fallness, a good spirit of the forest and plains. The flora and the fauna of any given region are usually explained in biological terms to include the genus and species of plants and animal life the pitted
preferred growing breeding habits and their connection to one another in the environment as well as in addition to the geographical groupings environment also helps further their classifications for the for example aquatic flora and fauna of a region refers to a plant and animal life found in the waters in or surrounding a geography region biologists and environmentalists study the plants and of animals of a region for a number of reasons preservation and conservation are main reason why they are important to research as they are ability to teach scientists new things about biology in several organisms including fauna and flora internal ffi work together to use their research and findings to further policy on conservation and preservation as well as biodiversity as you have just seen the diversity of odisha is nothing but immense and vast something not just one of us can comprehend in true manner so this was an effort to bring together many minds of our class to work on different aspects and organisms of the strait and to understand and explain their importance to each of us and to understand why this strait is called the stone of india yet it was but a small effort because the enormous diversity of the state we couldn't account most of its life form in our explanation yet we tried our best to cover a small portion of the great diversity of the state we would like to thank everyone who played a part in this project and our teachers who gave us such an amazing opportunity to work on this enormous diversity